Hello everyone, this is Subifly here, and today I'm doing a kind of a one week follow up um, review on the Surface Pro um, Windows 8 Pro, and it's uh, running 128 gigs uh, SSD for storage and 4 gigs of RAM. So, after one week uh, worth of use, I'm going to give you my pros and cons on uh, you know of this using Surface Pro and again my normal use might be different from your normal use so again this is just my opinion this is just my experience um, uh, hopefully I don't uh, piss anyone off <laughs> during this process it seems to happen quite often in YouTube um, anyway here we go we're gonna go ahead and start um, first off um, what I like about it is the fact that the screen is wonderful. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on. I like the capability of doing um, picture password, which is nice. Okay, so let's go back to the main uh, UI or the start menu. Um, I love it. Um, to be honest with you, I love the fact that it has live tiles um, updates, very intuitive um, and, and, and very responsive. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and start with kind of the negatives um, of the review. It's always good to start with the bad news and come out with the good news so you come out as a better per you know, it, it makes you feel good. Again, that's just my, my own opinion. Um, there is a little bit of small disconnect in Wi-Fi. Um, there was an update that came out today. Today's uh, May 14th. They did come out with a firmware update that would have fixed the um, Wi-Fi issue. Um, so hopefully that's gotten better for me. Um, I haven't tested it. I just, I just updated the firmware as I was leaving work. Um, so it hasn't been fully tested. That was one of the cons. Um, which is crappy signal. It just didn't work. Firmware supposedly fixed that. So if you have a Surface Pro, do a check window, do a Windows um, update, and you should pick up the new one. Uh, there's a few. Uh, there's a Windows Store bug. Um, that Windows Store bug is basically if you were to um, download download an application, um, we were getting. I was getting a. Um, issue where I couldn't update. Um, uh, it is because if you use this for work and typically your work has a group policy it, or if you turn off your firewall, your Windows firewall, that would actually block you from running an update or in, or download a new app. Um, if you Google it, a lot of people having that issues. Uh, simple fix for that is turn on your Windows firewall. If you use it for work, um, typically uh, a work environment they would turn off the Windows firewall as a um, as a standard or basic group policy setup um, you will have to ask or talk to your IT person to do that and uh, and then they'll be able to help you um, set up a group policy um, where it'll turn on the Windows firewall and then you should be able to run your updates typically it's it's related to the Windows firewall. If not, it could also be related to the physical firewall of your organization. Okay. Uh, the next up is the Internet Explorer 10. Um, there is uh, confusion between the Internet Explorer 10 here versus Internet Explorer 10 here. Um, one thing I didn't like about is that I check my email here, like uh, your Outlook, and there's a link. It opens this link here. Um, I wish there was a way to, you know, open the link on here, right, versus the link on this Internet Explorer because I can be doing this um, using this Internet Explorer all day and then I check my email and there's a link and that link would actually open the Internet Explorer here. So I'm not sure if there's any setup for that, so I didn't quite like that. Um, but I'll get back to you and how I'm getting around that to prevent myself getting confused and frustrated. Um, so, uh, one another con uh, again these might be bugs you know hopefully they'll fix this down the road is the micro SD cannot be detected under photos 
so what I'm saying is that if you go to your photos app right photos app um, you cannot you can't see that storage okay so if I look at my photos library right and my son and I right there and there's no way to for you to look at other photos within the surface um, you can import but that kind of defeats the purpose of getting that micro SD storage um, so I didn't quite like that um, there's no way to get around it I'm, I was trying my best to, to find it um, so uh, just to just to sh prove you that I have photos on my SD card which is I've done and added the 32 gig SD card to put more storage you know for photos and documents for work and kind of separating work and personal um, is I got photo right here Oop, not that's not photo folder and so I got some photos right here so that does not get detected on the photos app on the Windows uh, modern UI so I didn't like that um, uh, kind of defeats the purpose of you know looking up your your photos um, that, again, there might be a settings for that, but I haven't found it. Uh, lack of storage. Um, I, I can't really give this too much of. It's not really a bug or you know a slight con because if you've been using Windows this whole time, you do know that they have uh, repository for repository um, storage for um, partition, right? Um, you can't see it here, it's hidden, but you technically it's 110 gig. When I got this out of the box, it was actually 90 gigs of storage, 89.6 to be exact. After installing, you know, um, Office 2010, um, all those, all those things, um, you know, uh, all the apps I need for work, right? It, I got to 71 gigs left. Um, that includes any small little apps that I've installed here and there. Not a lot of games. Um, you know, just basic stuff, and as you can tell, I got 71 gigs of storage, so it is what it is. I hope they won't be making a bigger storage, but having the SD card is helpful, which is nice. Um, but again, there's a disconnect, right? So I can't see my photos, defeats the purpose. Um, hopefully, they'll fix that. Um, desktop screen resolution makes it difficult to use um, for touch. Uh, what I'm saying is, if you look at this, if you look at this connection, uh, main connection on this desktop, it's a little frustrating because if you have kind of fat finger or your, your point finger finger is a little bit more thick or wide, um, in in trying to tap one of these, it's a little bit difficult, um, especially using you know Outlook, right? Um, another example for this, if I was to go to YouTube, okay. And and if I was to play, let me just play something. So this can be if I communication manager, I'll play that. If I make it large, you notice on the bottom right hand corner, it's tiny. I mean, how do you tap that properly, right? It's 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 uh, it's not really optimized. The play buttons is so small, um, so. That's my guy I use is just hit escape and get me back out. So the resolution in that one, uh, not too happy about. Makes it really difficult for legacy. But again, um, always get a peripheral, you know, either uh, Bluetooth mouse, you know, whatever, wireless mouse. You have one USB only, so you might need a port replicator, USB replicator. And definitely get a touchpad or touchpad um, keyboard or type cover with a mouse. If you're working quite um, a lot on your desktop for work, then get the type cover. Um, uh, this might not be the Surface problem, um, but legacy apps are not really optimized for touch. So, um, you know, what do you expect, right? So that's when the pen comes in handy. So, um, you know, uh, I would I would use that. Um, any pen, any Wacom pen, Wacom. This is my Galaxy Note 2 pen. It actually works here as well, um, without a problem. So this is nice. I use this if I can't get to my um, pen that came with it. Um, uh, I'll grab that here in a minute. 
but this works as well in my Galaxy Note um, 10.1 uh, pen works too so they're all the same technology so it works great um, uh, pressure pressure sensitive uh, battery, li battery life uh, actually I was able to get about over five hours uh, uh, on a charge um, but it was very minimum use uh, throughout the day because I was sitting in the you know, meeting most of the time and took notes and then that was it and uh, but normal use uh, I get about four and a half hours which is really below st um, standard for ultrabooks um, you know my MacBook Air in my X1 Carbon I mean I was able to get six and a half hours and X1 Carbon I was able to get seven hours or so and had the rapid charge and charge you know in 30 minutes 80 percent so um, I do miss that um, see full screen YouTube yep uh, and Explorer controls I mentioned that um, Outlook navigation uh, uh, this Outlook navigation not the 2013 but the 2010 you know some people have old office software that they want to use like myself um, as you can see it's small um, so you would need a keyboard and mouse um, typing on the built-in keyboard good luck um, lack of apps so uh, I, I can't fault surface for that hopefully uh, apps will start building up in time and don't like the pen storage and what I mean by that is where the pen goes in here with the charge it falls off so it sits in my bag dangling around everywhere and and I can easily break it um, uh, so it, it's, it's I'm not too happy with that um, I usually use my Galaxy Note um, 2 and just use this pen because it's usually right next to me and the button here works too for right click right so that's those are my cons and I'll eventually find out probably more as we go um, the pros however uh, I'm gonna start with the screen the screen is beautiful very responsive um, I haven't seen it lag on the modern UI here um, opens apps you know navigates through apps without a problem you know so love it right the charms I'll be able to search for everything here um, back in the day or Windows 7 days there was you know you get your start menu and you have your run or all programs you can normally search from there now here you just search from here and you can search all your apps uh, or settings or whatever uh, mentioned the fast uh, earlier and very intuitive um, I love the fact that I can install my legacy software. What I mean by that is like we have a VPN software that was designed for XP um, and Vista. I was able to run it on here without a problem. Um, you just have to do a compatibility mode and set it to Windows XP S Service Pack 3. Done. Works perfectly uh, without any other tweaking besides that. So kudos to that. I couldn't do that to Mac my MacBook Air. It just didn't work. Um, there's not a lot of support um, as far as what we use for VPNs um, uh, let's see uh, live tiles I mentioned that I love it um, I love the fact I can get my live tiles here email Twitter um, and things um, 10 point um, just to show the 10 point screen right because like, my kids love it um, they play games they can actually play games together now um, and using the same tablet because they can control the same thing, um, I like a kind of not foosball air hockey. Download that game, they love it. Um, they can play against each other with my Galaxy Note 10.1. It's kind of like one at a time, so you know they have to take turns. And they weren't very happy, very happy, and it caused me to buy an iTouch for them. But in this case, just to show you an example of the way um, this 10 point touch and so as you can see a oh, baby bad example let me do this right here so I got my one finger here one finger here. three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can see right, using ten fingers so it's amazing to see that this little tiny um, pebbles it works smoothly and again this is a perfect website to kind of test that out and the kids will love it if you have kids so 
check it out. I'll put the link um, up on the description. Okay. Uh, pen input, very, very, very smooth. Um, that's that's. Um, I have crappy handwriting, so let's see. Let's go to pen mode. Let's go to www. In agit.com. Hopefully that picked up. Yeah, it did, and it didn't even look like a period. So, yeah, uh, it knows. Um, it, it's actually out of my, you know, experience in technology. You know, for about t over ten years in being in IT field, this is by far the best handwriting recognition I've ever used. Um, way better than my 10.1 Galaxy Note so um, definitely if you love this um, yeah, especially with my um, using Note um, and I'll show you that in a minute and how nice it is the Note integration um, let's see speedtest.net did that pick up? let's see Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Delete all that. Uh, www. Speed. Test. Dot. Net. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Okay. Um, next one is the um, the speed of Internet Explorer. It's quite fast. Uh, I actually like Internet Explorer 10. Believe it or not, I've always been a Chrome or Firefox fan, and I've always seen Internet Explorer as just a tool to download other browsers. But I actually like it; it's quite fast. Um, didn't have any really problems. I do. Uh, I do have to say that some things are not very good with your t with touch, uh, especially right clicking or or hovering over right. And that's why they give you the Wacom pen, Wacom or Wacom pen. For that so you can hover right above um, certain areas so um, okay so moving on the, another pro is the note love it so if you have notes I was testing this out um, I in, I enjoyed this one I would definitely you know let's see let me erase some of these in show you the sensitive input and I'm not using the, the the pen that came with it it's in my bag and I don't want to go grab it but see so light and then thick and then light thick so love it um, I, I do my notes here throughout the day and it's great um, and instead of typing it up I can write notes um, and, and actually uh, convert it um, if, if you need I believe uh, um, I did this a couple days ago uh, but ever since then I kind of stuck with just writing so I like it solid build for the the device itself so um, it doesn't feel cheap um, some people say you know it's like oh it's too heavy it's like it's two and a half pounds you know and and if you have a problem carrying two and a half pounds, you might need to go ahead and work out or hit the gym. Um, but I do understand um, the uncomfortable of holding it with one hand in bed. So I understand that. But if you're walking here and there and then have to sit down and put it in your lap, you know you complaining it's two pounds, two and a half pounds, too heavy. You know what? You have a problem. Um, so, uh, next, um, like I mentioned earlier, um, or smaller footprint, so I like how it's small, uh, it's 10.6 inch, it, it, it does well for me, I can connect this to a monitor without a problem, um, you know, I did prefer my MacBook Air with 13.3 inch, but you know what, this is not too bad, it's small, I can unpack it, carry it and put it around my, you know, holding my hands, no problem, I like that. Um, the second and then, uh, second and last is that I was able to kind of use this to 
use it for old and new or work and play. Uh, basically what it is is I use my desktop for work and I use this for play. So maybe look at it that way um, rather than that oh it's a disconnect. You know what? That's how I looked at it. So work and play for personal. So it's nice and neat and again I like it and again it's always been over a week so I uh, will do another video um, maybe at the end of the month um, just to kind of um, show you um, anything else what I find uh, moving on to end of this month I'll be traveling so they'll give me a better idea on how I'm going to be using this um, going out of state so again if you have any questions please leave some comments and I'll answer them as best, my, as, best as I can and um, and I thank you for watching and thank you for the ones who are subscribing. Uh, I do this for fun and I enjoy it um, and, and using technology. So any questions, comment. And until then, see you in the next video.